Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this, uh, was it Central Powers 2 Electric Boogaloo playthrough of, oh my god, all the rhyming. Uh, I'm, I'm Mitch Man, and I'm joined by Aldra Hill and uh, Feedback Gaming. Say hi, Yo. guys. Hey, hey. We actually, we actually look like, uh, oh no, our RM faction color is horrible. It's oh, the it's same as white. the, yeah, but it, it looks the same as people that yeah. aren't in the faction. I guess because yeah. we're not aligned, right? I hate that too. That's I weird. Well, at least yeah. it could be silver. No, it's white because it was created by Austria, who are white. Oh. Yep. This guy. This guy with his logic. Oh, man. Oh, I'm losing a lot of population in this fight. This is unpleasant. I'm gonna just maybe stop my advance for a little bit. Get my organization back up. Yeah, I mean, um, there's so many troops right here that I, I can't actually do an advance because my troops are... Um, well, let's just let's just hold up here and see what happens. To reinforce, how's the um? Can you be building some infrastructure as well? Um, I mean, no, we haven't taken back any of my factories. You got? Uh, oh, I right. Apologize. <laughs> I apologize, but I have nothing. <laughs> oh wow, the I can't, Dave. Mhm. Mm I can't help but notice there's a large blue smattering. That uh, in in Western Europe. A blue smattering. What? Yes. This uh, this new country emerged. It's blue. Is to have taken back all its borders. <laughs> oh right. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I'm in my eyes on that, so it's not a surprise <laughs> to you. You've scrolled over and be like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> For me, I've seen this happen. So there's not like I've done that. I've gone up. To, I ain't gone up to divisions. I wasn't quite ready for the war that you guys had made got... for me. <laughs> made <laughs> for me. <laughs> I didn't make this war. You dragged me into it, you fuckers. <laughs> this whole, I feel like this whole series has been me dragging you into things, kicking and screaming. What? What is it? What's going on? We've got an encirclement in the north. Can you... Okay, um, it's fine. Got a... I, thought you, I thought you were like, I've lost Istanbul. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm dead. I'm out. <laughs> See you later. You just disconnected from your channel. There we go. Everything's back to as it needs to be. No problem at all. Planes. I have planes I can give Dave. Oh, I have 100 fighters. Never mind. No, I don't bother. Just hold on. Yeah, I think I will. I don't want your planes. <laughs> They're useless. I'll, I'll, I'll pass on that one. <laughs> Did you like 100 planes with no men in them? I don't have any men. Oh. No! Sorry. <laughs> what? I right clicked and it wanted to. Damn. Sorry. There they go. Sudoku in your future. No, man. I know, right? What should I cook first on my cooking channel? I think it's important that you just don't just cook. I think you need to kind of make things themed. Because that's the kind of stuff that gets more attention on YouTube. Define themed. You mean like binging so, with Babish and movie stuff? or that, That's... Oh, God, that's a perfect example. Yes, I agree. You probably don't have to take it as far it's as It's the he same does. level. We're on the same level, Dave. You don't have to take it as far as he does. But, like, have you, have you actually seen the channel called food of Fi feast of fiction food yes of fiction, I think it's called. yeah oh, you have okay that's good i, I love that fiction. channel i think that channel is really awesome i, I watch think, a lot of I cooking videos the mixture YouTube. between humor and the mixture between actual recipes and the themes they make with the tv shows it, it's like the perfect recipe oh recipe see i did that oh <laughs> it's clever <laughs> yeah it, it works so well i uh i really do recommend that channel. Hmm. but i'm not zany enough uh, you can make yourself zany. Well, it says your personality is stagnant and you have to keep it the same way for the rest of your life. It's true. It's true. I can become wacky. No, Trotsky! Not with an ice axe. Rip. Yep. That's what happened to his face when they hit him with the ice axe. That's where we take my actual capital. Uh... Oh boy. Hey, we encircled some more. Yep. I'm building a lot of fours. Oh, they're not. Are they? There's uh, five divisions over. Here. Also here. Oh, you guys okay. can take oh, care of that. Holy I'm shit, not... I'm actually seeing those markers. Yeah. Yeah. They, this, remember, we were, we were on point, 5.1 where before we were on that. So. Yeah. You can use the markers. Very yes. useful. Yes.
I'm just looking forward oh to having my god, kitchen Italy's again. been in this war like half the time and has already lost 400k troops. Jesus, really? Well, I'm going to kick them as soon as they stop being useful to me, so... Let them drain their mountain power. Yeah. Make them easier for us. Well, they're on extensive and they're almost out, they're almost out completely. They only have six ships as well. What are they doing with their lives? Slovenia and Dalmatia. Okay. Fighting the British Mediterranean fleet by the sounds of it. Just need Slovenia and Dalmatia. Come on, give it to me. I'll give it back. They refused. They must die. The thing is, though, if we kick them and then justify on them and invade, like, it should die pretty quick. And then as soon as I control it, I can form it and get instant cores on all of this territory. Yep. Be very nice. Nice meme. Nice indeed. Bertie Hofmeister. I guess we have to wait for Paris, France to fall first, and then our, our pal Germany can encircle on the north side. Yes. And then we have to build up a navy to rival the fucking British or an air force. What? Well, what kind of lost us? All production into planes. Oh, I am very much out of manpower. I have no political power. Oh, because we're on elite. I, yeah. No, oh. the, the more the more we take, the more of this turkey we take, the more manpower I get. I've just gone from, I was on 23,000 when I was at Istanbul. I'm now up 400k manpower right now. Nice. Uh, Service so, me some. I mean, Please. you can always is what we can always do is you guys build stuff for me, and I just filled it into the Turkish army. <laughs> hey, what do you need to form, um, thingy? I think he needs the Levant, doesn't he? I need uh. the Levant, and Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman. Oh God, all that. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm going to be marching through some deserts. Make sure you build infrastructure. To greet you with a smile, my camel looks so tired, I, it's hardly worth my while. To tell you of my travels across the golden... I fucking can't remember the word. Oh, shit. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name? Not that song, but... Alright. Oh, well, expand some steel works. the only yes, desert please. song I know, I'm afraid. List in the comments if you knew what that song I was referencing to. I genuinely a, don't either. <laughs> give you a hint. It's a 1980s British, I guess it's pop song. Kind of obscure. Enjoy. <laughs> Mitch Man with his song elitism. You'll never get it. No, there'll be, the, there'll be that one person that in one of our communities will know what I was referencing. That's probably true, actually, yeah. Oh, hey, look. Dave's killed Germany. Uh, France, even, already. No, right? Good job. Proud of you. No, right? And that sounded sarcastic, but it wasn't. I know, right? <laughs> so it looks like when they, looks like when they surrender, they lose their <laughs> minus 50% surrender limit. So I can't quick capitulate them again. Yeah, because they're free France now. Yeah, they're free. Yep. They're free now. Led by Paul Renard. Isn't he the communist, dude? No. The contempt in your voice. <laughs> no. You silly boy, Aldra. Get out. Uh, never maybe, come back. Actually. actually, you might be right about that, actually. I think about it. I never thought of that. Maybe Get out is. and never come back. I'll yeah. Google it. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. I mean, the uh, de Democratic Party's in charge, so... No. Paul Renard was the Prime Minister of the French Republic. Nope, I'm wrong. Do, uh, just he's a Democratic that Republican Alliance Trump. center right party. Wrong. Oh, he was okay, Prime Minister so of France. What's wrong with him? That was the, he's the leader of France in just normal times. Yes. Well, back to history normal I go. Times. Back he's to history. Normal times. Yeah. At least he didn't be. At least he wasn't killed in the war. <laughs> like most French people. Yeah. He wanted to make a United States of Europe. Ah. Nice. What a fool. Ah, uh, it's great stuff. We're finally conquering stuff. I just wish Tur Italy didn't get the stuff I need. Well, you're saying conquering. I'm retaking my home nation. Conquering. Yeah, same thing. Reconquistering, I guess. Yeah. And then we just kick Italy, and then I can form the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Just... Oh, wow. Even better. Italy's lost most of its land in Africa. Yeah. They're, they're, so they're, uh, they're done. If we kick them... Yes. And then 
we before that we can like reclaim it when we invade it do we reclaim it for us or Italy? um it depends if we're at war with them or not like if they're not in our war so where, why can I kick them? Because we're in a war together with mages. And if I kick them, are they still going to be in the war? Yes, I think they will. But that means I can't justify them, can I? I don't know. Good question. Not sure. That's very odd. <clears throat> I'm not sure about that one. That is a nice point. I'm not oh, sure. shit. There's a... They're not encircled. That's actually a um, port they're on. In doodly deedly. Let's wipe out Anatolia first. I've been there. Good for you. How was it? It's really nice, actually. Sure, I, I really enjoy Turkey. I've never been. My family's from Istanbul. Oh, that's cool. I um, The last time I went, I stayed in a place called Marmaris. Which is kind of... Uh, it's really hard. It's a basic... Ah! <laughs> the easiest place to way to point out where Marmaris is. Do you see those uh, people we thought were encircled that aren't encircled? Yep. It's about there. Oh, that's um, helpful. You could you could do a day trip to Rhodes and stuff, and uh, I went to Cleopatra Island. It was lovely. It was really nice. But um, cool. unlike most of Turkey, it was like a huge forest area. Like, I think of, I think of Turkey as a desert. Yeah. So like originally, so did I. But no, this is like luscious green forest. Its highest export is honey. That's weird. It's really no, it's, um, delicious. Yeah, no, it was it was really nice. Just <sighs> oh, Christ, that scared me. <laughs> I just saw Soviet Union declared, you know. Yeah, I had a guarantee with my national focuses for the Baltic. Oh wow! Actually, wants to send me glad more you didn't do that equipment and. Guns. I'll take that. <laughs> I I now have a million manpower. Oh, screw you. <laughs> oh, I can invite Finland to the faction. Shall I do it? <laughs> oh, no. oh my god, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> You know what? You can do that. But you know what? You can fight the frickin' war, okay? I ain't fighting it, alright? Yeah. <laughs> you know all two of us have a border You with dig your own grave, alright? <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. My god. It's like a... some comedy oh, duo, isn't it? Where like one of the characters balls. is the guy who has to fix okay. the other one's problem. They're, they're <laughs> <laughs> you're, all, you're my foil, Dave. I'm like, whoopsie, you <laughs> stepped making it again. problems. I have to constantly keep bailing oh, him no, out. Dave, oh, no, Dave. I declare war. Ultra. What's up, man? We're being backdoored. Oh, God. My, my backdoor, no. That's my special place. <clears throat> Fuck these guys. That's my special zone. Leave me alone. You, um... <laughs> I thought you would have learned this by now. You leave troops on the port. God damn yeah, it. Oh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not my territory. It's not my job to leave troops on ports. That's uh, who's, that's the person who owns the land. I'm just a visitor. I'm a tourist. I don't have enough troops right I'm now. I'm a tourist. I'm here to visit. You said you had a million manpower. Just put them on the Man put, your, put your men on the on the, on the ports. It's a problem. Manpower. You got your men on the field. Just you know, I'm here. I'm a tourist. I've, I've got a camera. I'm here to take in the sights. You know, it's not my fault the country destabilizes. You're now that guy, and we were soldiers with with the camera that ends up with the gun. Um, no guns for me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm a non. Shit. I'm a pacifist actually. So. So was he? Oh Christ! Um, up in circles. Uh regrets. So oh, right. Uh fuck. Rest in uh, pepperoni. I will. I'm gonna have a Domino's for, for my birthday tomorrow. Okay. I'll hold the line okay. of the advance if you go back and okay. deal with that. Okay. 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 Dave, seriously though, seriously, get a Domino's, okay, and then put a curry on it. <laughs> right? All right. I, 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 promise me you'll try it sometime. I started to think you're not a good chef when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best, and then a little bit of lemon juice as well. It's the best thing in the world. It is. Amazing. Your stomach will hurt for a while if you're lactose intolerant, like oh, I am. Because I'm, lacto oh, I'm lactose intolerant, so it's quite an unpleasant experience. But oh my god, you're not selling this to me. It's amazing. The flavor of the, you know, the fat, the the, the curriness and the the pizza. It's it's 
It's amazing. You gotta try it, Dave. Go try it. It's... I'll uh, put it on my to-do list. Your bucket my... list, Dave. Your bucket <laughs> yeah, list. Yeah, I don't want to put it that high up. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> It's That's it's the uh, greatest. To okay. be fair, that sounded horrendous. It's uh, Mitch, you gotta try it, man. You gotta try it. Okay, promise me. No. Promise me, Dad. <laughs> One, you said Domino's, and Domino's is not good. Okay, I have a theory about Domino's. Okay, I don't think they're very great pizza, and this is the reason no, why I think they're not great not pizza. Listen to me. Now listen. The reason why I don't think it's very good pizza is because they they, they serve it with freaking like a, like a it's like a it's like garlic dip that comes with it. That's amazing. Yeah, agreed. It is. Okay, good. They, it's almost like they admit that the pizza tastes like crap. So here you go, have some sauce with it, so it'll actually make it taste good. That's what it feels like to me. It's like a, it's almost like <laughs> it's a fancy five star Michelin restaurant, and then all of a sudden they they give you like they put salt and pepper shakers on the table. Like they know the food does like going to be under season, so they give you they give you the seasoning to do at the table. It's like hey, the terminology. Hey, Rutgers capitulated. Hooray. Uh, you're just not you're just not a fine culinary uh, ex taster like I am, man. He says you curry domino. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone in my life gives me shit for this. <laughs> I've, never, uh, I've never managed to get someone. It's because it's shit, Aldra. It's amazing. It's the greatest way to eat a pizza. Also, lemon Do you know juice. What it sounds like lemon it sounds juice. like the sort of thing a pregnant woman craves. <laughs> it does sound like that though. You have fair. the stomach of a pregnant woman's cravings. So good. I don't really not pay that much attention. I think I've just lost two tank divisions. All yeah, 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 they're encircled in the southern bits of France. I was wondering when you were going to notice. I was just silently yeah. judging you, Dave. Yeah. To pay back all those times I didn't put fallback lines. I don't... <laughs> I don't know how that becomes... Uh, Ultra, we've been encircled again. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh yeah, that's a oh yeah, there's some, there's some whoopsies going on here, mate. You need to, you need to rectify... I said you go back and hold! You gotta rectify the situation here, man. You gotta, you gotta, got an issue. I said I'll hold, hold the handle of the advance. You go back and deal with the the back door issue. Mitch, Mitch, said, Mitch, yes. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. You have some troops in your borders. Right. Sort it out. I'm gonna, I'm... Mm. Mm. Deep breaths. Mm. Put a curry on a pizza. It's okay. Hey, fighter twos. There are two English divisions walking through the desert of Anatolia, and the and just stop them. There we go. <laughs> Kill them. There we are. I like to imagine that they're like walking like without any water or food, they're just kind of walking aimlessly in the desert. And when you attack them, they just you know they surrender, just like immediately. Okay. Oh. I'd rather go to a POW camp, wouldn't you? I don't know. The British have spent a long time in the Middle East. I think we're used to it by now. Yeah. I'm back. Yeah, I, I I knew you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> so stealthy and like solid snake. <laughs> Where's your box? <laughs> Have you actually farmed Austria-Hungary? No. Okay, that's good. I need to take Slovenia and Dalmatia, and these green pricks won't give it to me. Hence why I, I want to kick them for the faction. small encirclement of the thing. As soon as you kill France, put troops in your ports, and then we'll invade Italy together. Eat them. It's gonna be great, Dave. It's gonna be great. I believe. I believe in the sweet dreams. That's right. Me too. I'm glad you believe, Dave. I'm glad. Wow, there are 69 French submarines in the in the what is this? The Bosphorus? Eastern Mediterranean. I don't think I know where the Bosphorus is. Uh, between. Istanbul and main, main Turkey. Then I do know where the Bosphorus is, and I was right. Okay, go me. Apparently. Did you get my guns, by the way? I have no idea. <laughs> God, you try to be nice to someone, and then they don't even... They don't appreciate you. They don't. Only, so only you appreciate me, Dave. My pizza tips. Um, Turkey, you've got a lot of troops pushing towards Egypt. Maybe you want to help out the the big... Tumors you've got inside of the country. <laughs> yeah. Look at these yeah, I'm borders. Just to, I'm just trying to encircle these people at the Suez. I should make first. this a thumbnail. <laughs> I should make this my Twitter photo. <laughs> just perfect of me and Hearts of Iron, isn't it? Accidentally leaving behind an entire section of my country, gets naval invaded and die. That's actually how I lost one of my most successful series back. Uh, well, not successful. One I was enjoying the most, rather. It was, it was like the first Hearts of Iron series that got decently big, like got like a thousand views. I was like, oh wow, amazing! 
and it was New Zealand for when they added that Mordor focus, one to rule them all. Mm -hmm. And I was doing so well, and I'd conquered India and China and Australia, and then the USA invaded and took Wellington, and I immediately capitulated. Like, I didn't even... <laughs> I, just, I got the naval invasion, I went, oh, where? And I saw them take it. There was no troops in New Zealand, and the game was over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, select half the current divisions. This half is going into this army. So happy that you series guys as well. Are coming up northerly. Oh, I'm salty. These uh, have been slightly encircled. Mm -mm. Not much, just slightly. Draft dodging. Oh fuck. What's your war? What's your war thingy? Stupid support. 68%. Oh, you're still at, oh, yeah, you're still at, it's pretty low. Don't seem to have a very stable country, mate. You might want to try and not get it invaded. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? You stay there. Get in there. Finish these guys off. Hey, Italy's been able invaded. And they've used a custom division template. Uh, with a fist on it. Yeah, nice they do that. That's cool. Yeah. Regimental Scavia Cavalleria. The cavalry. Kiss with a fist is better than none. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, let me, let me just... I know this. I know this, yes. I can't remember the name, though. I'll be honest not... with you, I can't even remember the name of the artist off the top of my head, you know? I'm not, I'm not good with references today, man. What's happening to um, me? Florence, Florence and the Machine. Machine. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, um, the the first album was really good, and, and the other ones were just samey. Seems to be a trend with music. I'm not a music connoisseur, by the way. Hey, so I'm a works. very uh, varied music taste. I used to binge on. I used to binge and go to festivals all the time. I I been to festivals a very long time. I haven't really listened Actually, to I can music never very much. Festivals is the annoying thing. I go to gigs, but I don't really listen to music. I don't know why. It's fair enough, not everyone does. Wait, stop that. Stop attacking me. No, please don't reposition across the sea. You're going to get sunk Night by a million submarines. Cairo. I feel like I really got into music when I got my first MP3 player. And when I, when I was on the bus going to and from work or college or whatnot, I'd listen to music. And that was like the point in my life that I like, digested the most music. And mm. now the only time I listen to music is when I'm in my car, driving from A to B. See, I, I actually now don't listen to anything when I'm in the car. Um, what do you listen to? I, 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 just, I just have silence in my car. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, 100%. I used to have it on, but quite a lot more, unless it's a really, really long journey, I just sit in silence in my car. Um, we have a oh. problem, guys. Uh, what, the USSR has taken Poland, or the USA has joined? Uh, that we have the Soviet Union, and I'm at war with them. You're at war with the Soviet Sorry, Union. Sorry, what? <laughs> and we were at war with the Soviet Union. No, and... we're not. No, we're not. Yeah, I am. And the US. Why are the Soviet... I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to... Because I have strikes as well. Hang on a second. Why are you at war with the Soviet Union? Okay, so there's one of my, um, focuses is called Danzig for Guarantees. No, you son of a bitch. And uh, I guarantee Poland in exchange they give me Danzig. You. You plonker is the only word I can think of. So they fabricated on. So you're Poland. saying we've got Poland in the faction? Oh. Kind of. So wait, what you're saying is it's your fault? Um. Sure. If Yay! You, yeah. <laughs> Sure, if that's, not, if that's the way you, you calculate everything based on blame, then sure. <laughs> would you <laughs> like me to invite? Would you like me to invite Poland to the factory? Nah, there's no point. Let him die. As long, as long as I don't have the Soviets crashing down my back door right now while I'm on, a, I'm already dealing with two fronts. Yeah. I'm okay. You might want to build forts along your Polish border. I'm gonna quickly build some forts in the Caucasus. Um, I'm going to hide. And then I'll be ready. Dude, we wanted our World War One scenario, okay? And here it fucking is. Here it is, alright? <laughs> no, please, I'm unprepared. <laughs> I'm unpausing. I'm unprepared. You're World War One scenario. Like a World War One scenario, then you're unprepared. That's fair. That's fair. That's very fair. Yeah, the problem is, though, they're going to take all the... Well, they're not going to... No, they're not fighting me, because as long as Dave doesn't call us in, we're fine. 
Yeah. yeah that's fine. I thought that was this big in. <laughs> an event called Formula China Alliance. is just sending me all the shit now. Yeah, I'll have the type. Let's let's yeah. really quickly try and take Italy, uh, Dave, once you've finished up those French troops. Mm. Because that would mean I can then get cores in all of my states and I can actually build troops, because I, I just can't. It's hell, Dave. Mm. Dave, don't. Dave, Dave. Remember well, all the what? times I've been good to you. Hang on, are you actually joking me? Are you telling me that we need to fight Italy and the Soviets at the same time? Is that what you're no, saying? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm telling you. You're misunderstanding me. I'm telling you you need to fight Italy and the Soviets at the same no, time. Fuck <laughs> off. You know what? You can, you can fight Italy by yourself. <laughs> no, I, I genuinely can't do that. I'm not playing that game. I'm playing that game. <laughs> Just build, you know, get some fallback lines, Dave. Where's your fallback lines? I'm working on it, all right? All right, you get on that river and on Danzig, you know, get, get defending. Oh, look, there's some Dutch here. Hello, Dutch. It's going to be fine. Don't even need to Where's worry about it. Lips now, motherfucker. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, the anti turn pact. I guess we should join that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Immediately joins the war. <laughs> Please, no. Drops out, joins the common turn. Um, <laughs> I love that the... the Australians have artillery brigades in. Okay. Where? Um... What? So there's artillery brigades in like Turkey. I've never seen them just build straight artillery. I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, they do. Oh that boy. Now. One of their ten places very artillery heavy. Oh, you've lost Danzig. <laughs> oh, it's fine. You got it. They got no organization. You're cool. You're cool. Oh shit, yeah, I'm probably now... I need, let me check my navy, because I might be up against a fucking... Russian fleet of it soon. Is Italy helping us in this war? Yes. Yes. I don't want to call yeah, them in in case well, they... Uh... Oh, look at the divisions you're encircling! Wow, look at that! Yep. Seven British Raj, nice. eight in the UK. Mmm, that's good. That's some spicy stuff. I've got to admit, my attention to detail since coming back to this campaign has been not very good. <laughs> um, you saying you're not giving us 110% of your effort? I would agree I'm not. No, what yeah, is this, Dave? That is that's unprofessional. It's unprofessional. It's impossible right? to give out 110%. We discussed, I think we discussed that in the last video. Get out of here, it's Mitch. Impossible to... Get out, uh, get out, Mitch, get out. The figure of speech. I know, but... Uh... You don't like figure of speeches. Don't think he likes figure of speeches. I want one. I'm gonna need 120% from you, uh, Midge, in liking figure of speeches. Okay. <laughs> that actually got brought up on an apprentice, you know. And Alan Sugar actually said those exact like words as well. He was like, "What do you mean 110%?" And he, and he, he like really drilled him for it. And I'm like, "Come on, Alan. Are you, were you born yesterday? You understand yeah. it's a figure of speech. He's not literally don't, saying don't he's gonna give dick. more than he can already give." Did you, did you see that uh, thing when he got asked about when Trump was running for president? It was like, well, since he's the lead person in The Apprentice and he's running for president, are you going to run for prime minister? And he, he gave something similar to the idea of just like, fuck no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's a stupid he idea. Can't. Can he? Oh, no, he can. He can. He can run prime minister. He's a British citizen. Yeah, I was just thinking because he's technically in the House of Lords. Uh, can a, can a lord run for prime minister? I hmm. think they can... I think yeah, yeah, you could just resign, he, couldn't you? He, yeah, he, he can't be. Um, yeah, he can't be a, a member of the House of Lords. That makes sense. At the same, time. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Italy's going to cause us problems because they've done a lot of damage, so their contribution is probably pretty high. So they're going to, if they get, if we get a peace agreement here, oh, I've got the United States. Oh, it's okay. We don't need the United States. It doesn't matter. Um, we not. Nah. The, the, ja the Japanese are now um, at war with the Allies, which is a good thing. How do you know we don't need... What do you mean we don't need the USA? What, don't we need to kill the well, USA to the... be able to get the thing? Ah, uh, I don't know, because, I, I mean, it depends if we need to be at peace or no. I, yet again, we're a bit... Well, I, I, can kick, I can still kick them for some reason, so... No. Who? Oh, Italy. Italy, yeah. I, ju I just need you to help me kill them. <laughs> we, 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 we will. It's on my to-do list, but, you know... Can yeah. I help well, the thing is, I don't right need now. to kill them. I just need to take Dalmatia and um, Slovenia. What happens after that is, you know, not, none of my concern. Mm. If they decide to invade you and take all your land, uh, 
Well, you know. Oh no, you're the two that I just sent over there. Whoops. Fuck that. How's your uh, Soviet border? Oh, uh, great. Um, are they at war with any of you guys? No, 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 no. no. You'd be hearing fervent screaming if that were the case. <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't be squeals. here anymore. Uh, uh, were you wrapping up this one, guys? That's right. Yes. I was um, about to prod I... him pro passive aggressively. Yeah, I hope. Uh, <laughs> passive aggressively. <laughs> what are you going to do? Send me a sticky note. Um, <laughs> to the mail. Hope you've all enjoyed this episode of the Central Powers. We actually look like a competent team now rather than uh, uh, Germany and his two sort of lame <laughs> brothers. Um, <laughs> We'll be back next time, hopefully, uh, with some more of this. Hope you all enjoy the series, and do go check out the other perspectives. I've been Midgeman, and I've been joined by Ultra Hill and Feedback Gaming. Bye-bye. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.